Hello everyone, today is day number 26 of our 40 days of fasting and prayer on the theme Go. My name is Pastor Josh and I am the children's pastor at Harvest Time in Chippewa Falls. And today I would like to focus on um, Ephesians chapter 5 verse 8 through 11. So whatever you use, whether it's your Bible or whether it's, you know, a tablet or your phone, why don't you pull that up and read along with me? So Ephesians chapter 5 verse 8 through 11. For you were once darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Live as children of the light, for the fruit of light consists in all goodness, righteousness, and truth. Find out what pleases the Lord. Have nothing to do with the fruitless deeds of darkness, but rather expose them. This is kind of a little bit of a deep devotional today because I'm going to challenge you to really pause and reflect on, um, on the fruitless deeds of darkness. Now, let me start from the beginning here. We were all in darkness before we came to the Lord. And sometimes in that Lord, we struggle between the dark and the light. You know, Jesus says, don't be lukewarm. You got to choose one side. You can't stand in the middle. There is no middle ground. It's either choosing um, to fall under the authority of Christ or to fall under the authority of sin. And so there is not one or another. But we are now in the light of the Lord. So now we have to live like we are children of the light. So we've taken it, we've accepted it, now we have to live. That's kind of like, we're not judged by our works, but we need to start taking on. It's like in James, he says, is um, is when we don't actually do anything, then our fruit is not shown, and they will know us by our fruit. And which brings us now to fruit. For the fruit of life consists of goodness, righteousness, and truth. What in your life are you doing that is your goodness? That's your righteousness, and that's your truth. The way that you're living, are you um, living such a way that outside of Sunday or outside of Wednesday, outside of church, are people seeing your goodness, your righteousness, your truth in the way that you live, in the way that you parent? You know, are you examining yourself? Are you being stagnant and being still, or are you moving forward? Are you always challenging yourself? Are you saying, What today did I struggle with, Lord? And what are you doing to make me more like you? Because we have to find out what pleases the Lord. What pleases God? Well, it's in Scripture. And so if you're not in Scripture, this 40-day of fasting and prayer, that's a good challenge for us to be in Scripture because we need to be in it in day and in night because we got to find out what pleases the Lord because we want nothing to do with the fruitless deeds of darkness. Now, real quickly, he's talking to people who are Christians. And so he's saying, sometimes as Christians, we do fruitless deeds of darkness because we are not focused on God's righteousness. So that is to you and to me. He's not saying about your past, but he's saying right now as children of the light, have nothing to do with your fruitless deeds of darkness but rather expose them in ourselves. Open yourself up, examine yourself, and take the brave step to move forward and and to receive wholeness of Christ. So join a life group, get connected, and work on that. But let's pray together about that. Heavenly Father, we just pray that you would shine a light on us so no darkness would exist, so you would expose all darkness and bring into life that we would be fully restored as your children as you were calling us to be. We pray this in your name. Amen.